Frankie Stein by Lola M. Schaefer, illustrated by Kevin Atterbury. Frankie Stein came into the world on a bright, sunny day. Our son, announced his proud parents, and they rushed to his side. Oh my, said his mother. He's cute. Why doesn't he look scary like us? asked his father. I don't know, said his mother, but with our help, I'm sure he will. Mr. and Mrs. Frank Einstein showered their son with scariness. They made faces at him. They shouted, Boo! and Gotcha! And every single night, they read him stories by candlelight. One day, while feeding Frankie, his father was shocked to see a lock of sun gold hair. What's this? he asked. I can take care of that, said his mother. When Frankie got his first tooth, it was white. What's this? asked his mother. I can take care of that, said his father. During a game of peekaboo, Frankie's face shone pink and smooth. We can take care of that, said his parents. Little by little, Frankie began to look like a stein. I'm starting to see a resemblance, said his mother. Yes, but he still isn't all that scary, said his father. That's true, said his mother. But at least Frankie can act scary, like us. Indeed, said his father. Mrs. Frankenstein taught Frankie how to walk. Hold your arms out straight, said his mother. Frankie did. Now, take big, slow steps, she said, like this. Frankie tried. He really did, but his walk was more of a bounce. Mr. Frankenstein taught Frankie how to moan. Open your mouth wide, said his father. Frankie did. Now, groan long and loud, he said, like this. Oh. Frankie tried. He really did. But his moan was more of a squeak. Oh, oh. Well, Frankie might not have all our scary looks, said his mother. And he might not act scary like us, said his father. But he is a Stein, they said. Maybe he just needs a little inspiration. That night, Frankie's mother and father pulled their family tree from the closet. This is your Uncle Franklin, said Mr. Frankenstein to his son. His laugh turns men to stone. Frankie chuckled. Here is your great-granddaddy Frank the Gripper, said Mrs. Frankenstein. He can hold the attention of an entire town. Frankie flexed his muscles. And this is your grandmother Frances, said Mr. and Mrs. Frankenstein. She's always full of surprises, said his mother. Frankie raised his eyebrows. So you see, son, said Frankie's father, you come from a long line of steins, each one different, but scary. Indeed, said Frankie, studying each family member, and I'll be scary too. Just wait and see. For the next few weeks, Frankie stayed in his room and practiced scary. Frankie tried and tried but he just couldn't look or act like his parents. Instead, Frankie decided on his own kind of scary. Early one morning, Frankie made a grand appearance. Well, what do you think? He asked his parents. Horrifying! Yelled his mother and father. They threw their hands in front of their faces. If you think that's scary, said Frankie, watch this. He wrapped his arms around his parents and hugged them tight. Spine tingling, 
blurted Mr. and Mrs. Frankenstein between gasps. Then Frankie leaned close and gave them each a big lip-smacking kiss. Mr. and Mrs. Frankenstein clutched their hearts. Scary! they shrieked, and they fainted dead away. From that day forward, Frankie Stein was considered the scariest Stein of all. Until Francis Stein came into the world.